This new air cannon is based on a spool valve. I made it up from the aluminum tank that I used to use on one of my other air cannons, but I decided to go with the CO2 fire extinguisher bottle on the other cannon, leaving this air reservoir free for me to reuse. Shown is a 750 caliber barrel, just a short test barrel mounted on the cannon. This one's based on a spool valve, and so far I've tested it up to 300 psi with no problems. Like all my other cannons, this one can mount to any of my different barrels from caliber 410 through the big 25 millimeter barrels. Air is not hooked up right now. You can see a sample 750 caliber lead slug sitting in the open breech. It weighs 645 grains. Right now the air cannon isn't cocked. It's cocked and its firing mechanism works like this. Cocked, and then the firing level lever is depressed to fire it, like so. Cocked, fire. The slug has been removed and the breech closed. Let's do a test fire with air only, no ammunition. So we'll bring it up to maybe, oh, a hundred pounds pressure. Won't take too long to get there. There's 75. There's 100 PSI and firing with just air. And recock for the next shot. Repressurize. Seventy-five, a hundred, and fire. Well, let's take it apart, since it comes apart easily, and take a quick look at the internals. Okay, here it is disassembled, so we can see the internal parts. Starting with at the front, of course, the uh, trigger rod and its two L-clip supports. At the very back, we have the uh, two springs and their joining piece, uh, the caulking knob, and then the uh, part that holds everything in. In the middle is our spool valve assembly on its brass guide rod. The spool being here, it has an O-ring at each end for sealing. The two springs here and here are to help absorb the forces that are exerted by the spool valve when it opens and flies rearward with great force, allowing the cannon to fire. These two springs prevent any damage by absorbing the shock. This is a little hard to see, but we're looking down inside at the ports that let the air flow into the barrel when the spool valve opens.
Here's a different view of the part, zoomed out a little more and at a slight angle. As you can sort of see, the tube with the ports cut into it extends all the way through the air reservoir, and as you can see from a side view, sticks right out the end and is threaded for that end cap. Well, having had a good look at the internals, let's put this thing back together and uh, try firing it a few times and see what it does. This will be a 300 PSI test shot with the 75 caliber barrel, which is only 31 inches long. So we won't get an opportunity to develop a lot of velocity with the short barrel length. The slug is a cast hard lead alloy, weighs 645 grains. We can see the backstop at 10 meters distance that I'll be firing at. It's at the uh, top right hand corner of the video. 250 psi. 275 PSI three hundred PSI and fire. This is a very effective backstop if you want to save and reuse your slugs. Basically, it's a large bundle of rags uh, jammed into a plastic carrier. The slug just hits the rags and gets slowed down and stopped without being dented or damaged and can be recovered from the rag bundle easily. For this test shot, I've switched to the caliber 565, 45 inch long breech loading barrel. It's been loaded with the 360 grain hard alloy cast lead slug. This test shot will be fired at 300 psi. The backstop is the bundle of rags in plastic container. This is of course backed up by a couple of sheets of wood and my normal one inch thick steel backstop plates. 250 PSI. 275 PSI. 300 PSI and fire. This time we'll be using the caliber 565 72 inch long barrel. We will fire at 300 PSI again and using the same 360 grain hard alloy cast lead slug. 250 PSI 275 PSI 300 PSI and fire. This will be the same test shot repeated, caliber 565, 72 inch barrel, the exact same recovered 360 grain cast hard alloy lead slug. 
target is still the big bundle of rags that protect the slug from damage. 275 PSI. Three hundred PSI and fire. This will be the third test shot with the caliber five sixty five seventy two inch barrel. We're again loaded with the same recovered three hundred and sixty grain hard alloy cast lead slug. Backstop is still the big bundle of rags in the plastic case. We will fire at 300 PSI. Three hundred PSI and fire. Here's a quick look from left to right of the firing setup I was using for the testing. Cannon can be seen on the bench to the left with the air compressor behind it. Breach on the copper 565 caliber 72 inch barrel can be seen. And as we pan over towards the right, we can see the chronograph on its tripod and we can see the light for the chronograph and another light aimed to light up the screen of the chronograph so the video camera can catch the velocity in the video. The round travels through a doorway and 10 meters down the shop to the backstop. That's the setup. This is today's shooting record. I always keep track of which barrel, projectile weight, pressure used, and feet per second for each shot. This I then take home and it goes into a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet.